Hi everyone and welcome to the Massman YouTube channel. In this video today, I am going to be showing you how to convert a decimal into a fraction. I'm going to be working through four different examples. I'm going to be starting with an easier question and then towards the end of the video, we're going to be looking at more difficult decimals to convert into fractions. We're going to be going all the way to three decimal places, which is about as far as you need to go at this level. Let's jump straight into it then. Let's take a look at the first example, which is 0 0.4. Now, when we are converting decimals to fractions, we are going to be multiplying by 10, 100 or 1000. We are going to pick whichever one of those gives us a whole number the first. So with 0 0.4, I only need to multiply it by 10 to change this into a whole number. So as you can see, if I multiply 0 0.4 by 10, it gives me 4, which is a, a whole number. Now that 4 is going to be my numerator for when I convert this into a fraction. And my denominator is going to be the 10 because I multiplied it by 10. So 0 0.4 as a fraction is 4 tenths. And when you have that, then you can look to see if it can be simplified. So four tenths can be simplified into two fifths. Okay, by just halving those two numbers. So that was the easiest question. Let's take a look at something that's a little bit more challenging. So here we have a decimal that has two decimal places. We have 0 0.16. So again, I'm going to take that number 0 0.16 and I'm going to either multiply it by 10, 100, or 1,000. Now this time I'm going to multiply it by 100 because that will give me the whole number of 16. If I would have multiplied it by 10, I would have got 1.6 and that's not a whole number. So now that 16 is going to form my numerator and I multiplied it by 100 so that's going to be my denominator. So for the smart mathematicians out there, you might have noticed that 16 one hundredths can be simplified. So I'm going to use the halving technique here to simplify it quickly. So 8 fiftieths, 4 25ths. And I think that is the lowest form for this fraction. So 0 0.16 is the same as 4 25ths. Okay, now let's take a look at an example that has three decimal places. So we have 0 0.032. So this time I'm going to multiply it by a thousand because that will change the number into 32. So the 32 will become my numerator and the 1000 will become my denominator. So 0 0.032 is 32 thousandths. And again, I'm going to use the halving technique to try and simplify this fraction. So I'm halving both the numerator and the denominator until I get a fraction that is something a little more reasonable. And there we have four one hundred and twenty fifths. Okay, let's take a look at the last example. So 0 0.05, so that's two decimal places. So 0 0.05, I'm going to multiply it by 100 to give myself the whole number five. The five is then going to become my numerator. My denominator is going to be 100 because that's what I multiplied it by. And with some simplifying, that equals the same as 1 20th. Okay. Incidentally, if you don't know how to simplify fractions, I have made a video for that and I will link it at the end of this video so you can click on it after this. I hope this video has been interesting for you and it has been helpful. If it has, then please smash that like button down below and consider 
subscribing to the Mass Man YouTube channel.